So this question's um, got vectors. I mean, you can see from the information straight away that it's about vectors. So my advice always is that you add onto the picture all the information before you actually start thinking about answering the actual questions. So let's have a look. We've got OA is equal to 4A. The direction is uh, going to A. So O to A is 4A. Then they're telling us that O to B is 4B. Well, the direction is going from O to B. So put the direction arrow on. It's really important we know which direction the vector is traveling in. So we're going 4B in that direction. It's saying to us that uh, OAC is straight lines and things like that. So that's kind of nice to know. And they're saying that AC is equal to twice what OA is. Well, AC is from there to there. It's twice what OA is. So because it's um, twice of OA, it must be going in the same direction, but it's twice that, so that's going to be 8A. And then they're saying that the length of B to Q is in ratio to Q to C, 1 to 3. So that's telling us to work with quarters. So basically, this length here is going to be a quarter. So BQ is going to be a quarter of BC. And QC is going to be three quarters of BC. So that's what all the information is telling us before we even start the question. So it's kind of getting to the stage of recognizing uh, what do we know. Now we go to the stage of what do we need to know. Well, they're telling us to find the vectors which represent BC. So we've got to go from B to C. They can't go directly, so like all vector kind of questions, um, the resultant vector of going in any um, journey will be the same. So I could go B to X to Q to C, that will still be the same as going to run from B to C. Or I could go B to Q to A to C, and that will be the same as going from B to C. But I don't know anything about all of those directions, but I do know how to go in this. So from B to C, I can go back to O and then across to C and I know all the vectors that I can add together to make that happen. So BC is going to be the same journey as going from B to O plus O to C. Now the only thing we've got to remember isn't it, is that when we're going against a direction vector then that means we do the negative of the vector. So B to O is going to be negative for B. O to C, we can see that we've got 4As plus 8As, so that's going to be 12A. So our answer line, we'd be writing down 12A take away 4B. Tend to put the positive bits first, then takeaways afterwards. That's a common convention for vectors. Then we need the journey from A to Q. So we're looking at A to Q. Well, we've worked out what B to C is. Therefore, quickest way of getting from A to Q is to go A to C and then C to Q. So A to Q, I'm going to go A to C plus C to Q. Now, we've just worked out what BC is, 12A take away 4B. So we know that BC is equal to 12A take away 4B. We know from the ratio information here that BQ is a quarter of BC. So a quarter of this would be 3A and 1B. So from B to Q, again direction arrows, we know that it's going to be 3A take away B. Q to C is 3 quarters of BC. So 3 quarters of this is going to be 9A take away 3B. So we know then that Q to C is 9A take away 3B. C to Q must be the opposite of that. So to go from A to C, we know it was 8A. C to Q is going to be the opposite of 9A and take away 3B. So that's going to be take away 9A plus 3B. And then when we combine these vectors, 8A take away 9A is take away A and we've got plus 3b. So on our answer line here we'd be writing down 3b take away a. So come to the last part and they're telling us that b to x is 8b. So 8b on the picture. 
So again, always add on the information to the picture to try and help see what's going on. It's asking us to show that AQX is a straight line. So A to Q to X. So to me, if this is a straight line, then AQ has to have a common vector with QX, because that means then they'll be parallel. If I do AQ and AX, then they have a common point that they start from, A. And if I can prove that AQ and AX are multiples of the same vector, then they must be both parallel and start from the same point, which means that they are a straight line and they're collinear. So basically, to answer this question then, I need to work out what A to Q is. Well, job done. We did that in part to A. And we need to work out what A to X is. Well, the journey A to X, I can go A to O and then all the way along here. So A to X is going to be A to O plus O to X. Well, A to O is going in the opposite direction, so it's negative 4A. And O to X is 12B. So again, writing this in the common way of positives first, negative second. So we can see that a to q was 3b minus a, and a to x was 12b minus 4a. Well, let's factorise this to see what happens. A common factor of 4, 4 into there is 3b, 4 into there is take away a. Well, what we can see straight away is that both of these have a common vector of 3b minus a, and a to x is a multiple of that. So basically we conclude that a to x is equal to 4 lots of a to q. Therefore they're parallel and have a common point a. So in a straight line. So we've shown that a to q and x must be in a straight line because the whole of the length a to x is a multiple of four lots of a q. That means they're parallel. Both start at a, therefore it must be a straight line.